ஆண்டவர் உங்களோடு இருப்பாராக யோவான் இறுதிய நாற்சியில் இருந்த வாசகம் அக்காலத்தில் இயேசு தாம் சீதரை நோக்கி கூறியது உண்மையான திராட்சை செடி நானே என் தந்தையே அதை நட்ட வளர்ப்பவர் என்னிடமுள்ள கனி கொடாத கொடிகள் அனைத்தையும் அவர் தரித்துருவிடுவார் கணிதரும் அனைத்த கொடிகளையும் மிகுந்த கனி தருமாறு கழித்த விடுவார் நான் சொன்ன வார்த்தைகளால் நீங்கள் ஈர்க்கன ஏற்கனவே ஈர்க்கனவே தூய்மையாய் இருக்கிறார்கள் நான் உங்களோடு இணைந்த இருப்பது போல நீங்களும் என்னோட இணைந்த இருங்கள் கொடி திராட்சை செடியோடு இணைந்த இருந்தாலின்றி தானாக கணிதர இல்லாத அதுபோல நீங்களும் என்னோட இணைந்திருந்தாலின்றி கணிதர இயலாத நானே திராட்சை செடி நீங்கள் அதன் கொடிகள் ஒருவர் என்னுடனும் நான் அவருடனும் இணைந்திருந்தால் அவர் மிகுந்த கனி தருவார் என்னை விட்ட பிறந்த உங்களால் எதுவும் செய்ய இயலாத என்னோத இணைந்த ஈராதவர் கொடியை போல தரித்த எரியப்பட்ட உலர்ந்த போவார் ஆக்கொடிகள் கூட்டி சேர்க்கப்பட்ட நெருப்பிழித்த எரிக்கப்படும் நீங்கள் என்னுள்ளும் என் வார்த்தைகள் உங்களுள்ளும் நிலை திருந்தால் நீங்கள் விரும்பி கேட்பதெல்லாம் நடக்கும் நீங்கள் மிகுந்த கனி தந்த என் சீடராய் இருப்பதை என் தந்தைக்கு மாற்றி அளிக்கிறது கிறிஸ்து வருங்கும் நாற்செய்தி So very good morning to you my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay, Kale Vanakam. Okay. Okay. So today in the gospel we see uh Jesus telling us that he is the vine we are the branches and he tells us that we must be united to him if we are to bear fruit indriya natchiriyil nam andavar avatham thraichai sedi nam adan kodigal endru koorigira avaril inindirundal tham nam kani tharai iyalum So what is this fruit that we are to bear? Yeah? We know this from actually second reading where we are told that we must follow God's commandments and we must love one another. So this is the fruit that we will bear if we are united to Jesus. In the kanigal enbavudu enna? In the irandavadu vasagathil kaanbadu pol naam kadavulin kadai kadavulin கட்டளைகளை பின்பற்றுவதும் பிறரை அன்பு செய்வதுமே அந்த கனிகள் so this fruit is fruit of holiness or righteousness and it is a fruit of love இந்த கனி தூய்மையான இந்த கனி தூய்மையானது அதாவது புனிதமானது மற்றும் அன்பில் ஆனது so what is holiness first of all when we think of holiness first of all who we think is holy we think of god 
right? We think of God as the all holy one. So when we say that we must be holy, what does this mean? Punidam adavadu tuimai adavadu punidam indral enna. Punidam indru sollum bolde nam ninivu kuruvade kadaval thami. So only God is holy and if we want to be holy, we must be one with God. So again, we come back to the idea of the vine and the branches. Vine and the branches. So when we are the branches, we are united to the vine. We are united to the all holy one. Therefore, we too can be holy. So, holiness comes from being one with God. Yeah, that is the first thing we must understand. And how can, be, how can we be one with God if we continue to sin, if we continue to do evil things? And if we don't follow commandments of God. So being one with God, that is the first step of holiness. And to be one with God, we must follow the commandments of God. We must try to live life according to what God wants of us not what we want or what the world wants. Now Jesus very strong today in his the gospel, strongly he says, if we are not producing the fruit, then we, the branch that is not producing fruit, is going to be cut off. It's very strongly he is warning, you know, he is telling us, if you don't produce the fruit, you are going to be cut off. So but actually what does it mean? It means that when we are not living life of holiness, of course we are not one with God. So it is not that God is cutting us off, we have cut ourselves from God. Okay, so a bit complicated what I was trying to say. Yeah, Sorry, translator. Yeah, Because Jesus, he was saying, you know, if you, the branch, you are not uh, united to the vine, you don't bear fruit, you are going to be cut off, right? So now maybe we think, oh, God is so cruel, He's going to just cut us off, He's not going to show us mercy like that. But actually, it means the other way around. Actually, we have cut ourselves off. That's why we are not united, therefore we are doing the evil things. You understand now? Yeah? So not so much God cutting us out, it is we cut ourselves from God, therefore... We are doing the evil things. Okay. So actually, even Jesus tells us, when He came into this world, He didn't come to condemn anybody. Yeah? He came to save only. But problem is, we condemn ourselves when we cut ourselves from God. Okay. So did you understand the first point? Yeah? Okay, now, how about being united to God? I said, you will be holy, but also you will be uh, producing the fruit of love, right? And actually all God's commandment is teaching us to love God and to love each other. 
Yeah? So that is what the holiness is. And that is the fruit of holiness is actually love. Okay. You're going too far. <laughs> okay, okay. So what I was saying is that the fruit of love, you know, this comes from actually our union with union with God. Uh, by being one with God, we will produce the fruit of love. Okay, just translate that. Okay. Okay, now I move on next point now. Next point is sometimes we feel we want to do good, but somehow we can't do it. Have you experienced this? We want to do good, but somehow we couldn't do it. Okay, but how easy it is to do the evil things, yes or not? Okay. So this actually shows, actually we are very weak. When we want to do good, we couldn't do it. And this is because our union with God must be very weak. So we have relationship with God. Yes, we believe in God. But maybe it is very weak. That's why we have no strength. We want to do the good, but we couldn't do it. This is the fruit of the fruit. We have a and that is why what we need so much is something that we call grace. Have you heard of this word grace? So we say only with grace of God we can do good. And this is what Jesus means when he says in the gospel today, cut off from me, you can do nothing. So it is in Jesus that we can receive the grace from God to do the good things that God wants us to do. So understand the importance of grace. Uh, when we say we come to church, even our coming to church because of grace of God. Yeah? Sometimes maybe we like to say Holy Spirit helping us uh, to do the good. Yeah? But actually, it is the grace that comes from the Holy Spirit that is helping us to do the good. Now, how do we get the grace from God? Yeah, this is important. We know grace is so important. With grace only we can do the good that we want to do. Now, how do we get this grace? Okay, so anybody knows how do we get grace from God? Anyone? Ah, doing good things, but I said to do the good things, we need the grace. <laughs> so, so, how to do the good things when you don't have the grace? Okay, never mind. It's a trick question, huh? so never mind. So, how do we get this grace? Okay, one person tried. Good, very brave. Thank you. Anyone here? This side? Huh? What is that? Faithful. Faithful also. You can't be faithful if you don't have the grace. Tell, can't be faithful. person is saying... Being faithful, that's how you get the grace. But I'm saying, to be faithful, you need the grace. Okay, 
Okay, now my father is very confusing this morning. Yeah? <laughs> okay, okay. So very simple answer actually. We get the grace when we pray. Every time we come to church, we are coming for what? To pray. And our prayers make our relationship with God stronger. Yeah? And especially, greatest prayer that we have in church is the Holy Mass. Yeah, that's why we are coming. That's why church say every Sunday you must come. This is the minimum for your relationship with God. And this is the highest prayer that we have. So you see in the gospel today, Jesus asking us to be one with him. How do you think we can be one with him? Every time we come to Mass, what are we doing? We are eating His body and His blood. We are receiving Holy Communion. That means we are becoming one with Jesus. So later during the Mass, imagine there is the vine, we are the branches. Beautiful, isn't it? And after the Mass finish, at the end, what the priest say to you? Go! Announce the gospel or go and glorify the Lord with your life. What does that mean? The vine, the branches, now go and produce the fruit. That is the whole story. So I hope today, reflecting on this vine and branches and the fruit also, huh? so vine, branches and fruit, as we are here present for the Holy Mass, we know what we are doing actually. And because we know what we are doing, we know why we must be here every Sunday. And so we give thanks to our Lord Jesus for the gift of the Holy Eucharist, for the gift of His body and blood. By His body and blood, we become one with God. And being one with God, we can be fully alive. Nam Indre Andavarikan and Tikurubum, Ye Karanam, our Murimak and Amaki, yes, we threw Udalum, Tiru Ratamum, Kerikindre. In the day, yes, we threw Udal, Tiru Ratam Mulamaga, Nam Mulumayana, Walvu Peru. Okay. Enough for today? Okay, yeah. Understood what Father was trying to teach? And uh, thank you to our translator. Okay.